you beautiful bastards? My name's Aaron Ciotti. I stole that intro from Philip DeFranco, and everybody just calls me Ciotti. It's Whoop Wednesday. What do you think of that? Look at this guy's hair. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Who's that ugly fella? <laughs> I need to, uh, I need to keep my hair under control, that's... Ooh, yikes. Hope you guys are doing well. What's going on in the chat? Uh, that was, uh, so that was some glide footage of the first time I flew the, um, T-Motor F40, which is their 2306, uh, Pro 4, which is the new one, um, and that was at... Uh, that was with no throttle output limiting. Um, 6S on 1950 kV. Um, I prefer a little bit less power than most. Um, the more power, the more time I just kind of wait to come down. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I just the, the more power my rigs have, the more the more instances during a battery I find myself going, mm, okay, I'll come down from the sky at some point here and we can do things that are interesting again, but for right now I'm stuck hurtling towards the heavens. So, yeah. Uh, in the chat, looks like Free Lojo was first, then Rick Zapata came through. Uh, 6S Full FPV, Roscoe Sticks, Frank Nicholas, Andre Bellinger, Guillermo Lespolo. Guillermo, you hurt early. Uh, you usually... Are you, I feel like, does that mean you're not going to be as trolly? I feel like as a, you know, one of the, one of the advantages of, of if you decide in this world to be a troll is you can kind of wake up late and sneak in there, sneak in there late. And... That's what trolling, that, that's what, what internet trolling looks like when you, when you take it out of the internet and you put it in, that's what it looks like. Um... <laughs> Griffin FPV, Free Lojo, Angel Padrone, uh, Espander, Ken Hill, Grumpy FPV, OB Squads, Free Lojo, T Bird, uh, Josh T Pritchard, Jafar Zaidi, Anon Arise, Twisted Skies, Free Lojo, Ken Hill, Dauntless H, and Mr. Huggy saying, Hello! <laughs> What's up, people? Um, if you don't know who Philip DeFranco is, you're missing out. Um, go look him up. He is who I get the majority of my news from. Uh, he is the fairest uh, sort of news doler outer that I've been able to find. So uh, check him out. Philip DeFranco. He's a good dude. Um, and he's commonly uh, really dead on the money. Uh, Griffin FPV tagged me and said, what's up, brother? If you guys want to talk directly to me, all you have to do is type Ciotti FPV, no spaces. Uh, you can type an at symbol in front of it, but you don't have to. Um, it's going to light your comment up in orange so that I know you're talking to me. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that you guys are talking to each other. Uh, Free Lojo said, you can do it. T-Bird FPV said, what's up? Uh, Twisted Skies said, what's up? Uh, and also ran my first set of Gemfan 4 blades and holy shit they are the bee's knees uh, which ones Twisted Skies they have uh, they have 2 inch 4 blades they have 4.8 inch 4 blades they have I think that's it I don't think they have a 3 inch 4 blade so it was either 2 or 5 inch I guess <laughs> Um, uh, Roscoe Sticks saying hey, and wow, we're caught up. Look at that. Damn. Uh, Grumpy FPV says any three inch frames that take 30 by 30 stack. Woof. Not that I've ever seen. Um, luckily, 20 by 20 electronics, though, are fairly reliable. Um, but yeah, I don't know of, I, I don't know of any, 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 any that take 30 by 30 stacks. Um, Josh Pritchard says, uh, are the gem fan 31 millimeter four blades good for 25,000 KV? Um, I certainly think so, as does, uh, Sebastian Ruth, SR13 FPV, who, in my opinion, is the best freestyle whoop pilot in the world. Um, so yeah. I think so. Um, I've tried all the whoop props, and they're the only ones that, um, can hold a candle to, to the rest, so... Um, yeah, one of the big problems with whoops is a lot, the, 
in my opinion, the biggest power with Tiny Whoops... The biggest problem with Tiny Whoops is a lack of power. There's some fucking English. Um... So yeah, a uh, the and and the gem fan four blades are the most pitchy and they have the most prop surface, um, so they deal with the biggest problem that whoops have the best. Um, Newbie drone honey pot mystery box October twenty twenty. Frank Nicholas was cool enough to get it, and when it came in, he wrote me an email that. Um, has everything that's in there so if you don't want to know what's in the newbie drone um honeypot mystery box october 2020 uh maybe go check out philip defranco for the next five minutes <laughs> um because i'm about to spoil it all with uh with an email from frank so three two one go away if you don't want it to be spoiled see you in five minutes uh, here's what's in there. Huge shout out. Thanks, Frank, uh, for doing this. Uh, so here you go. Here's what's in, in there. Uh, looks like a set of the Venom. I, they're, they're fun. The, 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 the Venom props are super fun. They make a funny noise. They, they sound like little mini Biblades. So they're, they're, they're a super novel, yeah, super novelty, um, but they don't make any power, and they weren't even all that efficient for me either. Um, I wasn't trying to run long range with a tiny whoop at the time, so maybe that's why, but yeah. Uh, looks like a set of four of the Azzies, uh, which are good. I like the Azzies. They're the lightest weight of the tiny whoop props. Um, they lack a little bit of power in comparison to the four blade um, uh, gem fan, as well as the four blade Azzies. Uh, there they are. Speaking of, speak of the devil, there's the four blade Azzies. The, the big problem that I have with the Azzies is they're so fragile that when I'm putting the props on, I accidentally bend the blades all over the goddamn place, and then they're not, um, and then they're not balanced. Or, I guess, maybe, technically, they could be imbalanced out of the box, but I doubt it. Newbie driven props are usually not imbalanced. Um, set of the, uh, the brush motors in all three flavors, low, mid, and high KV. And then, I've heard about this. <laughs> there are, is there, are there seven or eight? Um, uh, uh, these are the brushed cockroach frames. Uh, Frank is going to send me a few uh, because, yeah, what the hell is he going to do with eight brushed? It's seven. Okay, so, yeah. What's, what the hell is Frank or any anyone going to do with seven brushed cockroach frames? Um, the, the, I had a, um... Uh, my first quad to get run over, I guess it's only happened to me twice, so that's good. So yeah, my first rig to get run over was a Tiny Whoop, and it was in, it was a brushless, uh, frame in the cockroach, uh, frame. Is my, I, I feel like my mouth is just, is just disobeying my brain today. Um, yeah, it got run over, and, um, the, the, the frame was, like, mangled, but... The cockroach frame is so strong that I was actually able to just sit there with the frame and just like, and, and just kind of like forcibly bend it back straight, and the fucking thing worked. <laughs> like, it was, a, it looked horrible, but the frame still worked. So, um, yeah. Seven brushed cockroach frames is, is enough for about a thousand years. So, um, yeah. There'll be fossil records of the, the, the Honeypot October 2020 edition rainbow cockroach brush frames for eons uh, <laughs> uh, and this is the big thing though Th this is the big cool thing that was in there that I was like ah all right so it th yeah that was probably worth it uh, hummingbird v1 bind and fly mockingbird edition uh, with some crazy USB flasher thing um, I have not had any luck with the hummingbird AIOs so but when they flew, they flew. <laughs> um, electronics, for the most part, unless they're kind of broken. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, electronics, unless they're kind of broken, they don't make a difference. Like, if an ESC is working, 
it's going to be exactly the same as, as any other ESC. If it's not working and it's falling out of the sky or desyncing or getting hot and dropping an arm, then it's broken. Um, but, uh, yeah. Roscoe Sticks thinks Alexandre FPV is the best Tiny Wolf pilot. Uh, well, Roscoe Sticks is wrong. <laughs> and I'm going to prove it. <laughs> Um, I actually don't know who that is, so I am uh, very interested in looking them up and seeing if they're better than Sebastian. Uh, so let's see. Holy shit, 19.1 thousand subscribers. My god. Hey, by the way, uh, speaking of subscribers, uh, we're almost at 4,000, and apparently I'm supposed to care about that. Um, so, yeah, this is me trying to give a fuck about that. So... If you give a shit, click the button and tell all your friends to do it as well. And then we'll get to 4,000 and my e-dick will go from, like, this big to this big. It'll be fucking great. Uh, Alexandre FPV. Alexandre. Alex. 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 Andre. D d where's, uh, d where's Tiny Whoop-ness? Where, oh, I'm subscribed to him. I, apparently, I do know of him. <laughs> uh, I don't see any tiny whooping. Um, all right, I don't see any tiny whooping there, so I'm going to, just in case you guys don't know him. If you don't know SR13, I feel fucking bad for you because you are missing out. Um, Sebastian is vicious. Vicious! He is a goddamn lunatic. Um, I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds of this. Here you go. Juice defined, my friends. Um, get over to Sebastian's channel. Watch his old stuff, man. He's got stuff from like a year or two years ago that's still fucking fresh as shit. I mean, yeah, he, it, it's uh, next level stuff. Sebastian is a, is a total ninja. Um, all right. We're going to get caught up in the chat, and then we're going to go straight over to, to the workbench because... Lots and lots and lots of work needs to get done. Um, Frank, thanks. Huge thanks for the, uh, for the email. Um, everybody give Frank a shout out for uh, spoiling the surprise so that you guys will know what's in that uh, honeypot thing so that you can maybe go get it if, uh, if you want those things. Because it looks like um, if you want a few of those things, it'll be worth the, uh, the, the price. So yeah, there's that. And then there's my email that I left open from Comcast with an $83 monthly bill for just internet. <sighs> Fuck you, Comcast. Fuck you with a file. Um, hey, look, treat stream. I forgot about that. I gotta add that to the uh, to the goddamn CIDFPV.com thing. I forgot all about that. Uh, here's the street stream thing, though, if, if, if you guys are, uh, if you guys think it's fun to order food to other people, you can do it to me. And then I'll eat it after the stream. I won't eat it on the stream. Ow, what the f- uh, hold on, don't- No, don't do it, because it's not- What the fuck? Why is it not working? Um. What the shit, yo? Ah! I don't know if that's something you guys shouldn't see. Come on, man. Yeah, but, uh, uh, hold on. God damn it. Uh, yeah, even for 25,000. For sure. 
Um, basically because um, if you need the power, it's there, but then if you want to be more efficient, just be lighter on the throttle essentially and uh yeah you can create ah there we go okay good it did save all right so yeah look i did the uh the i did things on the uh i did things on the thing look at that yay i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing oh wait no chat not ready yet not ready yet here we go uh, Roscoe Six says I've finally uploaded a new vi video after all those months. Post it on Discord, and people will. Well, I don't know what will happen. Frank Nicholas says you're welcome to use the info I emailed you. I also sent you a couple other emails. Uh, sick. I will check those out tonight, brother. Um, what was the good freestyle pilot called? There you go. Uh, seven frames, Frank says, and then, uh, Hummingbird Micro is warped. <laughs> the box is too small and warps it. Oh, God. Uh, apparently you can take, uh, Tiny Whoop frames and put them in boiling water and that will, um, uh, that will straighten them back out. That's very annoying, though. Uh, oh, okay. Roscoe Six says, not Tiny Whoop 5 inch. Uh, Frank Nicholas, well, that's what she said. And YouTube just did the thing, so let me scroll back up. Because that's my fucking life. Hey, there it is. Uh, Brandon's Baked Bean says, love my Hummingbird plus MBV1. Um, Rick Spade says, thanks so much for starting points last night for tuning a 5 inch. I've flown six batteries today. And it flies beautiful. The biggest thing I've noticed is moving the filters, uh, was moving the filter from 1.0 to 1.2. Uh, you're certainly welcome, Rick. Uh, just keep, keep playing, man. Keep, keep tweaking it. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> and Anand says, what the fuck? That dude's an, a damn robot. Yeah, he really is. Sebastian is, uh, is, is one hell of a pilot. It's, Sebastian is such a great example of, um, like, so th there was a long time that he only flew tiny whoops and it was so perfect because he was like s just as good of a pilot as any of the pro pilots but on a tiny whoop um and then what i absolutely loved was that um he started flying five inch and like back then there was this like oh that guy just flies micros he must be a shitty pilot kind of like attitude in the community it was it was basically like if you don't fly five inch you're garbage and I, and I think there is still I think that is still um there uh, I, I think there is a lot of people think that that's true um and yeah the the from like the very first edit uh flying five inch that Sebastian put up he's like gnarly 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 fire donkeys giraffes t-rexes um yeah pilot's a pilot man doesn't matter what you fly uh putting in a ton of stick time and getting really good it applies to everything i i flew only micros for over a year and a half before building a, a five inch rig and um yeah the very first five inch battery i flew was pretty fucking lit <laughs> as the kids say um roscoe stick says i've uploaded a new clip i'd love to get your feedback um uh message it to me in uh on facebook and uh and i'll get back to you uh hey look at that caught up on chat that button and this here Get our digital zoom on. All right, so let's zoom out first. Here we go. What's up, Blizzard? Uh, so, here's the plan. Let's uh, let's 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 get going here. Man builds to do. So, this fat bottom bastard. If if you're on my Instagram, you you will have seen the story of me calling this a fat fat. Um, because it is. This is this is the fattest fat fucking fat tiny whoop ever. Um, this I'm gonna build and then get it tuned, and I'm actually gonna sell it. Uh, I don't. I, I'm 
th this uh, Cadix Tarsier is so I'm I'm tr <sighs> when you do an edit and you pull in video from multiple different cameras, um, it's a real pain in the ass to get them to look correct together. Like when you cut from one shot to the next, if I cut from session five footage to Cadix Tarsier footage, it's very jarring. Um, and the, 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 so I'm basically reducing the number of cameras that I have. Um, I'm sticking with the run cam hybrid and the Insta360 Go. So I kind of have, yeah, I just, I don't have room at the inn for anything with a Tarsier. Um, so that's the main reason that this guy is getting sold. Um, these are 1202 7500s and this is 3S. So there's gonna be some uh, some throttle scaling going on on this guy, uh, but yeah, it should be fun. And uh, I'm gonna put that aside for right now. If 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 I'm feeling extra saucy, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll throw that thing together here today. But probably not. If I'm if I'm totally honest, don't hate me. I mean, do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, okay. Also, so what we're definitely going to build is the Beta 85. Um, I got the AIO in yesterday, and that's all I was waiting for. So this is for sure getting built. This is the main thing that we're going to do here today. Put that aside for now. Uh, the other thing that I really want to do, you know what? We're going to do that second. We're going to do this first. This is a Beta FPV 1S board. It's their... It's the, their lightest weight um, AIO board and then these are happy model 25,000 0802s um, and this uh, canopy and camera setup is the tinywoop.com setup it's their pinch camera and their new lower profile uh, canopy as much as I hate to to yank this apart because it flies fucking great um, this is the new Red Shifters Prototype V2 65 millimeter frame, and it is stiff, man. They added an extra support on top here, on top here, and on top there. They already have supports on the bottom, so they've done exactly what I've been talking about. They've closed the box. Um, previously, they basically had built this like a convertible. All the supports were on the bottom, and then everything on top was able to just kind of bend inwards and wiggle about um, by just adding. I don't. I know it doesn't look like much, right? Like, like this is here before, and this is the V2 prototype. It doesn't look like much, right? And it's it's only separated. Like this is only what, like five millimeters, maybe ten millimeters here. Um, but it's just enough. It's, it's really, you don't need much to, to close the box. What would be even better is if we could connect the, uh, the motor bases and on the, um, on the 75 millimeter bigger version, I think I need to do that. This is already the V2. It's already got those supports. There's the one, there's the two, there's the three on top. But because of the fact that this is so much bigger, um, it's it's still a little wobbly, and um, in order to get this to fly, I have to turn the filtering way up by moving the slider way down in the filters tab um, to get this thing to fly cleanly, and that adds a bunch of latency, and um, yeah, it's kind of not ideal. So I am gonna move forward. I keep forgetting to, to message him, actually. Um, I gotta message Ryan Harrell about hopefully cutting me a, um, uh, a brace plate. Actually, I need to talk to Red Shifters because I want to ask Red Shifters for the exact measurements. I don't just want to do this with a caliper. Um, I, I would love to have the the uh, yeah the actual measurements of left to right and basically front to back. That's really all I need. I think what I'm uh, the, I think I'm just going to keep it super simple and just ask Ryan to make me something um, that hangs on. Maybe just one, actually. Maybe just one of these little screws and then connects over and then connects over and then connects over. I'm not going to worry about the front. I think that by 
Um, I, I think that I'm just going to get plenty of stiffness by uh, connecting these rear three. So we'll see. Um, that'll be a really interesting little project. Uh, next up, this is the CB 2.5 Cinewhoop slash freestyle slash one rig to rule them all um, on RCX 1304 5000s, and I run this on 4S450 batteries. On this configuration right here, I got exactly three minutes uh, ripping pretty hard outside the, uh, the front of the apartment here um, with the Insta360 go on and, um, like I said, 4S450s. Uh, this is it, man. This is actually almost a carbon copy of what I was flying at Quad Camp Atlanta way back when, um, when I met all the, uh, at the time, they were all Rotor Riot guys. Now, I think there's only one of them left. <laughs> I think Drew is the only person that I met there um, that's still with Rotor Riot. Um, yeah, so, the, uh, so this is a, a pretty slick little setup. It will accept... Either um, these incredible GEP RC, super, super, super strong um, uh, two inch ducts. Um, and the, the, the ESC that I put in here is the Hack RC 20 by 20, which takes up to 5S. Um, wait, no, this isn't it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, so uh, again, 1304 5000 kV motors, when I ramp those up to 5S, they do have enough RPM for two inch propellers. Um, and yeah, so this setup on the two inch propellers with these ducts is really, really good. But what I, what I realized, I didn't think this was gonna be true, but um, these are the TransTech two and a half inch ducts and they fucking fit. Um, I, I'm, I'm so shocked that that they fit on here, but yeah, they actually fit with, with room to spare. Um, and when you put these on, you can run the, um, the Gemfan D63 propellers. And man, is that a really good combo. Um, I've, I've got some flight footage coming. It's, it's stuck on the laptop. Uh, I'm still working with landing zone to try to get the laptop dock fixed. Um, but yeah, this is a hell of a setup. These, as you can see, these ducts are nowhere near as uh, as rigid, right? Um, a, because they're bigger, but also B, because basically this this edge here, it's, it's not rolled over. It's just like a straight piece of plastic, as you can probably see. Uh, whereas GEP RC, they rolled this edge over um, and that makes it way, way, way stronger. Um, so yeah, these little two inch guys are really good for just like straight up bashing. Um, and then for a little bit more efficiency and just straight better performance. Uh, these transect ducts really shocked me, man. Uh, I'm, um, yeah, I, I, I thought they were just gonna fold like a cheap suit, but uh, they didn't. They they put up with some some substantial abuse. Uh, no magic smoke blizzard sets. We will all cross our fingers. Um, so yeah, I flew this around a bunch today, and it's this is the freestyle setup, and it's mind blowingly good. Uh, the, the you can build. So this is the Rotorious CB 2.5 frame, which doesn't exist anymore, but uh, the BQE Rip Squeak Micro is coming back in stock. Uh, Bill is just waiting on China and you can buy two and a half inch arms for that um, So if you wanted to build as close of a replica to this as possible, which I think you should because this is pretty fucking special um, That's how you can do it. Th that's how I would recommend you doing it is with the BQE rip squeak micro um, and then you just buy the two and a half inch arms off of his site and Yeah, you can have something that uh, so I, I wouldn't do it with a three inch rig because I wouldn't put these motors on a three inch rig. Um, this is basically a three, this is a CB3, which is the three inch version of that same frame. Um, this is the newer version that has removable arms. 
unfortunately, this frame is also vaporware. I have a few because um, I used to be a, a Rotorious um, sponsored test dummy <laughs> pilot. <laughs> um, and yeah, so on a on a three inch rig, you're just you're not gonna put motors that are five thousand kV. Um, you're also gonna be putting heavier motors on it. And to, to try to scale these motors all the way down to a two inch prop wouldn't make any sense. Um, so this rig is kind of specifically for three inch. Um, and luckily there are some three inch um, uh, prop guards available. And uh, so Gepar C makes a set. And then I actually don't know. One of you guys will though. One of you guys will recognize this and type into the chat what duct this is, um, I hope. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like in the middle. It's not quite as strong as the Gep RC ducts, but it's smaller. And it certainly looks like it's gonna fit on here. Um, I have not tried it yet. Oh, well, it's not gonna fit on here because it's nine by nine only just like the Gep RC duct, so it's dead to me. Uh, these are the Brother Hobby 1405 and a halfs, 1504 and a halfs rather, uh, and they're 12 by 12 mount. Um, God damn it. Well, there's the end of that. I was really hoping I'd be able to get ducts or uh, prop guards on this. That sucks balls. Um, Blizzard FPV says, I have three Ripsqueak uh, BQE rigs. They have thicker arms available now. They certainly do um, on the, um, did I do, a, yeah, I did one live stream starting the, the Ripsqueak micro builds. And I think in that build, I showed you guys all the arms. I, I bought, I, I basically went onto BQE's website and I just bought everything um, that you could for the rip squeaks. I bought all the arms. I bought all the reinforcement plates. I, I just went sort of top to bottom on the website. Yeah, this is nine by nine. God damn it. Can somebody please make us a more 12 by 12 stuff? Uh, so this is, uh, not Cine Whoopi at all. So this has no place on Whoop Wednesday. Goodbye. It's a great quad though. Away we go. Digital zoom at max. Let's see if this red shifters prototype frame is stiff enough. So what I'm gonna do, I have this thing all tuned in for this nice solid cockroach frame. I am not gonna change anything in the tune. And if I can take this setup and drop it in here and it flies properly, then this frame gets a big ass thumbs up from me. Um, and I will be ordering a few more of these uh, frames for the giveaways and also to do another one of these builds. Um, if, if, this is, if this is good, I will put all of my tiny whoops into these frames because the, the way that this frame holds the Insta360 Go is absolutely perfect, in my opinion. Th this is like, so it's a pusher, so the ducts are as much out of view of the Insta360 as possible, and it mount the, this mount is reversible, so you can actually, you can mount the Insta360 Go a little bit farther forward, but I really like this mounting point. This is basically as close to the center of, of of, of gravity as possible um, before you start getting ducts in view. Um, and you can offset the, the forward weight of this guy by just mounting your battery a little bit farther back in the little uh, battery pooch on the bottom here. So you can end up with something that um, is like kind of perfectly balanced front to back and with the 0802 25,000s um, it, it kind of has just enough thrust to, to carry an Insta360 go around. Um, the, as I've talked about for, before, the only problem with carrying the Insta360 go around on these smaller tiny whoops is runtime. Um, the, the, the smaller props are just a lot less efficient. 
Um, so that's why I'm really hoping that this one, the 75 version, um, I'm hoping that I can get this thing uh, a little bit less wibbly wobbly uh, because I think I think this prop size is going to be the one um, for carrying an Insta360 go around. But right now, I'm just trying to get a really solid, like, I'm just trying to get one or two really solid rigs that'll carry the Insta360 Go in as much safety as possible um, so that I can get my at, so I can start bugging uh, T Pain and George uh, to come and fly around the studio, the garage, the, the gaming area, um, the office, all the cool shit that uh, that T-Pain's got that need to be flown and then put on Instagram and then my e-dick will swell up to the size of a fucking <laughs> tractor trailer. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Um... Hey, who checked out the uh, the fucking Gran Turismo sports stream that I did at 5 a.m. last night? <laughs> uh, that was fun. I'm gonna start doing that more. Uh, when when I play, I, I try to play Gran Turismo Sport every day as like a little treat to myself. Um, basically, uh, Gran Turismo Sport is um, everybody needs play in their life uh, for. Most of you guys, that is FPV. Um, it it is still sometimes play to me, but a, a lot of FPV has become work. Um, not saying that is a bad thing. It, it's work that I enjoy doing, but it's still work. Um, it's it's not like a hundred percent play. Uh, it's not like the pressure is off. I'm just gonna have a hundred percent fun and curse and scream and yell and pee my pants um and yeah I, I i every single therapist that talk therapist i've ever worked with um has said that yeah you've got to have play in your life you you've got to have something in your life that um no aspect of it is work it's just a hundred percent play and, uh, yeah, that's what Gran Turismo Sport has become for me, and I fucking love it. Uh, so, yeah, if you're into cars, we're going to be talking cars over there almost exclusively. I mean, if you guys hop on there and ask me FPV questions, I'm certainly going to help you out. But uh, if you're not, if, if there aren't FPV questions being asked, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be car chat with, with Ciotti with oh god what did they used to um they used to call me uh Mia when I bought the Miata a couple of my buddies started calling me Miati um which you know not all that not the not the greatest pun <laughs> but uh you know can't can't always make fun of your friends uh, let me look over to the chat in one second here. I saw some orange. Come on, you fuckwad! There we go. I, um, I always try to pull these out by the connector, um, rather than by the wire. I've, I've never fucked one up before, but... Uh, <laughs> Blizzard says... Or wait, no, it wasn't Blizzard. Bad hat... Wait, no. What the fuck? What, what is happening with the chat? Um, uh, somebody said that quad is working, leave it alone, <laughs> which is like the best advice ever, uh, but I'm not going to follow that advice. Bad Habit says there are HDLRC, uh, oh, those, I, I think what Bad Habit meant to say is those are HDLRC ducts and they suck. They break easy. Um, well, I can't use them anyway, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Chris says, will that frame hold a bigger battery like a 450? Uh, Chris, which 
frame? Uh, yeah, which which frame, Chris, are you talking about? Uh, because it looks like you posted that question when we were talking about the CV 2.5, and I had mentioned that I run 4S 450s on there. Um, so I'm not sure what your... Uh, so yeah, your, your question confuses me. Uh, okay. Let's unscrew some shit. You guys excited for a uh, Ciati FPV bot grinder stream on uh, November 7th and or November 8th? You should be. If you're not, I'm going to kill you with a shovel. So... Get excited or die. You pick. Twisted Skies says I'd watch and play as well if it was Forza. Um, I am not an Xbox guy. Never have, never will. The Xbox, uh, like the menu layout, I just, I don't know. The, the X, I had, I've had two different Xboxes. I forget which ones. Um, and I have, uh, but because my buddy Brad is a, is a diehard Xbox guy. And, uh, I use our gaming console at like 90% of its use is as a media server playing Netflix and YouTube and Hulu and uh, Prime and Disney and all that shit. Um, and then yeah, like once in a blue moon we actually play video games on it. Um, so as a, uh, as a media center, uh, the Xboxes, the two Xboxes that I had uh, were pretty terrible. <laughs> Uh, in comparison, in in my opinion, to the uh, the PlayStation's, in terms of just being a media server, so that's kind of why I've uh, I've always been a Sony guy. What's super funny is uh, Brad and I used to always argue that, and then uh, eventually Brad bought a um, a PS4, and he was like, yeah. You're right. <laughs> this is way better as a media server. It just works a lot better. It, the, the, the menu layout makes a lot more sense. Um, it's funny, man. Microsoft just can't... They can't fucking... I mean, it's it's like Windows and, and uh, Apple all over again, right? Apple's uh, operating system is 10,000 times slicker and easier to use and better designed and blah, 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 blah. Um, and the exact same thing happens somehow between Sorny and uh, and Microsoft in the console world. I guess it kind of makes sense, right? Microsoft is not uh, well. Whoever whoever designs their UI, you know, it, it's either a smaller team of people or they're more engineering-minded people, maybe. Um, so yeah, I guess it does make sense. All right. Now that I've alienated half of my audience, because half of you are, because I'm sure that, yeah, I mean it's, it's like everything nowadays. Everything is everything is is fucking divided. It's it's just, you know, you're you're either an Xbox person or you're a PS4 person. You can't be both. You're not allowed. You gotta fucking hate one. It's a requirement. Hatred. <laughs> uh, Dauntless says, how many people were there? I think there was like seven people, because that's like 2 a.m. for me, so I can't attend those. Um, yeah, they're going to be at weirdo times. Uh, Bad Habit says, uh, are you planning to get a racing wheels playing a sim like a set of course up? Man, I, 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 I mean, that's like the dream, Bad Habit, um, but that's um, it is just that it is it is a dream that um, yeah it, it's just not gonna happen financially like I, I'm 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 hemming and hawing whether or not I'm gonna spend the the five bucks a month on uh, to be able to play online uh, so yeah spending and, and I'm not just going to get, um, I, I've used enough, uh, like, $100, $200 wheels to know that 
it, it's, I'm just not going that route. Like, like if, if I buy a wheel and pedals, it's going to be Fanatec and it's going to be a pedal set that has a load cell because I, I just, don't, I, I'm, I'm, I have so much, I have so many hours on, on actual, in, in actual cars, um, driving hard that the non load cell, uh, brake pedals are just, I mean, it, it, I might as well just use a controller at that point. It, it just doesn't, um, it just doesn't compute. And so, yeah, it's, uh, I, my dad has, uh, I, I bought my dad a set of Corsa for the PS4, uh, a couple Christmases ago and he prefers Gran Turismo. And so I, I don't think he uses it anymore. So I, I, I called him today actually. And I meant to, uh, to ask him that, uh, I have a feeling that he's gonna say that he doesn't play it anymore. At which point I'm gonna say, "Hey, can you mail that shit to me?" Because I, I, I made sure that I bought him the physical disc. So I, I will be doing a little Assetto Corsa on the on the controller, but I mean, nobody cares about controllers. <laughs> Um, and I and I feel like Gran Turismo is kind of like the king of the uh, of the controller sim games. So I will probably stick with GT Sport, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Twisted Sky says I got all the consoles, so no worries here. Nice. <laughs> Rick Zapata says, Do you set your whoops up props out, or do you just run them regular? have seen a lot of debate lately on which is better on a whoop. Uh, Rick, when I went to props out like a year ago, I did it on everything. Um, I had actually already been props out on the tiny whoops because um, uh, I'd had an issue where this one tiny whoop AIO board was when you would do like a really hard, when you would push a bunch of yaw and roll in, it would fall out of the sky uh, when it was props in, basically because it was overloading the, the outside rear motor. And uh, the, the solution to the problem was to go props out because what happens is when you go props out, um, the, the motors used to yaw reverse. Um, so when you're, when you're flying, let's take Fat Boy. Uh, when you're flying forward with Fat Boy here, uh, when your props in, if you if you want to do this, if you want to yaw and roll to the left, um, this motor would have to do everything. This motor would have to handle the yaw and the roll. Um, whereas when you go props out, this motor in that same scenario is going to handle the yaw and this motor is going to handle the roll um, as well as this motor right but um, yeah so it, it takes some of the uh, some of the work it spreads the work out a little bit which is a really good thing um, so I don't really I don't understand how props in could possibly be better on a whoop that, that's so limited on horsepower unless now maybe maybe now that we've got the whoops onto brushless motors and we have you know motors like these 0802 25,000s that make a half a decent amount of power maybe there are other and, and now we're also fucking around with these pusher rigs so I guess there could be something about the uh, the props in setup that's magically better uh, I plan on testing that once I get one of these pusher rigs into a good spot where the tune is good and it flies proper and I'm happy with it. Um, I will, uh, I'll go props in and we'll see if we can tell a difference. I, every single rig that, that I've done it on, that I've gone from props out to props in, I have felt no difference whatsoever. Um, but the, the theory behind, I feel like the theory behind it is sound. The only thing that freaks me out is that like, why haven't the the Betaflight devs, like, why hasn't the standard become props out, right? Like, is, is there, and, and I think I know the answer. I, I think the answer is that um, 
Betaflight has to try to make its software as easy to use and like reliable and uh, comfortable as possible. And if they all of a sudden went to props in, a lot of people uh, would be pissed, right? Like all the props out people that haven't had to fight, that basically haven't gone to, or I'm sorry, all the props in people um, that haven't gone to props in, yeah, they're, they're not going to be happy. So I, in that respect, I, I guess maybe I, I understand it. Um, but, or maybe there's some performance advantage that those guys know about and we don't. But, I don't know, I kind of doubt that. Uh, Dauntless H says, what makes a pusher different? Um, I'm, I swear to God I'm not making fun of you, but this is literally it. Um, the obstruction of the airflow is happening on top and not underneath. Um, and basically we just don't know. We, we don't, uh, the, the pusher thing is fairly new and I've yet to see a pro pilot put up a video that says, hey, I back to back pusher versus not pusher and here were the, the differences in flight. Um, I don't care about the, the, the differences in math, <laughs> right? I only care about the differences in flight. Um, and my hunch is that there aren't any. I mean, I, I don't know. I, like, the obstruction of having standoffs to mount the motor to, it's going to happen no matter what, obviously. Uh, and I, I just don't... I just don't understand why it happening above versus below would have any effect on anything, really. Um, so, but I do want to, that's another thing that I want to back to back. Um, I would actually love to build two, like these, I, I ha these two tiny whoops, uh, this one that I'm doing right now and the, uh, the other one. Uh, are very, very similar. The only difference is the AIO. Unfortunately, um, they felt different in the air. Probably because one has a really nice newbie drone AIO and the other one has this Beta FPV 1S AIO that I, th I feel like I'm the only person who has one that's working. <laughs> like, all I ever hear about is people saying that this Beta FPV 1S AO is horrible and caught on fire the second that they put power to it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of in the in the minority there, but uh, that's okay. That's that's all right. Uh, so I've got to get these wires tucked under because the plugs are going to be on the bottom here. Luckily, Happy Model makes their motor wires nice and long. Hey, Newbie Drone, take notes, please. Um, luckily, they make them really long so that I don't have to desolder 16 30 gauge fucking 0802 motor wires and direct solder them to the fucking. I'm not salty at all, though. I'm definitely not even a little bit salty. Um, so here is the, uh, here's the setup that Tiny Whoop has for their uh, pinch camera. It's, uh, it looks kind of flimsy and it does eventually break, but man, it holds up really well. And, and when you order it, they give you a whole bunch of extra of the little mounts. But yeah, this little setup is great, man. I, I, I gotta give it to, uh, to tinywhoop.com. I've always liked their, um, their camera and, and canopy setups, and this one is is no different. It's uh, it's really really good. It's extremely lightweight. It's really good looking. Um, it does break. The, the, these canopies do break, but they glue back together really really well. Like this one is is glued back together down here, and you just you can't even tell. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for a really lightweight camera and canopy setup. I think the tinywhoop.com setup is about as good as it's going to get. 
Um, so do it. Go get you one. Uh, oh man, I glued this thing in. That's right. That was a silly thing to do. <laughs> Why the hell did I glue this in? What in the world was I thinking? I think it like popped out of the uh, little tray once and I was like, I'll show you. I'm definitely never gonna take this setup apart. This flies great. Not bad. Um. Drone Pilot says that theory would work on slower rotating KV when you're in the high KV. Nope, it's not the case. Fly it and you will see. Uh, Drone Pilot, are we talking about pusher versus non pusher? Uh, or are we talking about props in versus props out? Uh, Rick Cepeda, we talked about props in, props out. Dauntless says, like, why would a pusher benefit from props in? Doesn't everything do better props out? I, I, I think so, Dauntless, but there are a lot of very technical, physicy, physicsy things happening. Uh, Anand says, looks like something you could do. Ooh, Drone Pilot, all right, says, pusher versus standard and props in versus props out. Uh, uh, easiest to fly fast in tight spots is standard setup and props in. Can throw that around, but for getting into tight spots, pusher. Uh, beta FPV AIO, small, lightweight, needs lots of ventilation, I found. I ran telemetry and it was overheating um, even just the RXSR sitting on top of it. Don't like the SPI version. Um, and then Toxic FPV says the new combat maps are great if you haven't checked them out yet. I have not Toxic, but uh, we will on Sunday. Uh, Free Lojo says pusher benefits because motors are flipped. Oh God, I fucking forgot about that. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the other that's the other big thing that happens when when you go to a pusher, your prop line gets much lower. Um, so yeah, those are the three things. Um, the prop line changes, the obstruction changes uh, from the top to the, from the bottom to the top, and um, <sighs> the other thing that we talked about. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I don't remember. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> brain broken. I know why my brain's broken because I'm hungry. That's why my stomach got no fuel for my brain. My brain. Would you like pizza or chicken and dumpling soup? Uh, either or. No. Um, what's the word? Man, I can't even think of that word. No preference. That's the word. Preference. All right. Let's get this little fella out of here. Oh, God. Why? Uh, Dauntless H says, eat something. Well, I can't because I'm streaming with you guys. And I need my hands <clears throat> and my mouth. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. There it is. Okay, we're good. Everything's cool. Don't panic. Nobody panic. It's organic. Alcohol will unstick that glue. Will it really, Chris? Um, that's uh, welder. Is uh, is welder susceptible to alcohol? If so, that's pretty fucking cool. I didn't know that. Uh, okay, so let's just drop this on in. And we will see how it is. You guys are going to have to excuse the uh, the state of this apartment right now. It is a fucking nightmare. Um, it's, uh, it's bad, guys. It's real bad. It's never been worse. We're busy people. There we go. It's real bad, guys. It's 
real bad. So fucking bad. It's so bad. Okay. So this is the part where you got to be kind of careful with um, uh, with these red shifters frames. Just be patient. Um, don't just like muscle the shit out of this because you can absolutely break the frame. So just be careful. One at a time. Put the back one. Put the back one in first, and then do one of these side ones. Come on, you. Fucker, this is the, the this is the worst part about the the red shifters frames, um, hands down. Uh, maybe there's a trick to doing this, but I sure as shit don't know what it is. Um, the uh, the AIOs that have less material around the uh, around the grommets make this a lot easier. Um, this particular AO. Ugh! This is very. Th this is a, a legitimately frustrating part um, of these frames. Uh, yeah, th this particular AO has a shitload of material around where the grommets go, and that makes getting it into this frame a real challenge. Um, at this point, I can't even get the goddamn grommet back into this frame. So, I mean, of course, as soon as I said that, I managed to get it. But it's it's not all the way in there. It's still sitting like an ass. God fucking damn it. Come on, man. I, I fucking... I'm gonna fuck... <sighs> Drone Pilot says, My slimmest pusher is only as thick as the beta FPV meteor frame with a battery. I had to remove the plug, solder directly, flip the board, not to rotate or inside anything. <laughs> I just took a breath, Patrick. I fucking, and before that, I took another one and another one before that. <laughs> uh, so I've been, uh, Jimmy Broadbent, my favorite streamer at the moment, uh, he stream he streams uh, racing sim content. He's been uh, he's been doing all of the old school Gran Turismo uh, license tests, which are notoriously just horrendously hard. Oh, he's been golding them. That that's the hard part. Um, and uh, he has like half a million subs, so his chat is uh, a, a complete shit show. And um, the, the the test being very difficult, uh, you have to retry hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of time uh, of times. So the the people in the chat go crazy, and like everybody's a backseat driver. Everybody is knows better than Jimmy, and you know right. Like everybody's a better driver than him, of course, because they're on the internet. Um, the weird thing is. He has a half a million subs, and they don't. But somehow they're all always better than him. It's kind of weird. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so I've been... He's been streaming a lot lately with that, and, uh... <laughs> he get, It's just been so fucking funny to watch everybody backseat. And, like, he puts up with it for a while, but then eventually he's just like, Guys... Shut up! <laughs> like, a, you're wrong. Like, you're. Th this is a a a fifteen year old game. It's it's not. The the physics are not what they are now. And B, you're not the one playing it. Um, I'm the one running the line right now. I can feel when you know the hitting the curbing is faster than not. Um, 
and it's just been it's been absolutely hysterical <laughs> to watch him kind of deal with it and uh he's uh he calls it um streamer anger streamer anger is is not real anger like like if i ever yell at you guys like i'm not i'm not angry at you guys i'm i'm just kind of being dramatic because it's funny um so uh yeah whoever i just yelled at patrick ruan that was that was that was streamer anger <laughs> it was just me being funny uh, T-Bird says, that's what she said. Austin Edge says, I'm sorry, bro. I'm left my ass off only because I see the same shit and it pisses me off. Um, and that comment by Austin Edge is exactly why streamer anger is so fun. Uh, da, oh, Don Lads. Good, uh, reminder. Hey, watch this. It's gonna work. Ready? I figured out the problem with, with Mailbag and Clam Man. Ready? I I may have stolen Clam Man from Jimmy Broadbent, but god damn it, I fucking created that little thing. Uh first try, no fucking way, Dauntless says. Yeah, I had the uh, um, I'm stupid. I had the uh I had the, the files. They're tiny little files though, they're only a couple megs, but um I had both of those files on a uh it's an internal hard drive in the computer, but it's a uh, a platter hard drive versus my um, the the hard drive that the that the computer runs off of is part platter, part um, RAM or whatever. You know what I mean? Solid state. That's it. Um, so yeah, I put it. I put those two files on the the main solid state hard drive, and now they magically work. Go figure. Um, I guess the issue is the, the platter hard drive would spin down and I would ask it to play those like immediately. And I guess OBS doesn't like cache them. Um, whatever. Uh, Austin, I just says, I feel your stress just thrown into the wall. Uh, drum pilot says my workshop has a black hole located somewhere where all the grommet screws and parts get taken to another dimension. C clips that get taken away. Like in Star Wars and the Force, yeah, Jordan Pot. I think we all do, man. Um, uh, you guys, see, I, I think I'm getting better at the lip sync. Eventually, I'll learn it all. And uh, all right, let's keep working. Enough, enough breaks. You guys aren't here to watch me take breaks. <laughs> okay. Uh. This little guy is going to drop down in there, and I th think it's going to be long enough. I feel like I had this set up in one of these things previously. It better be long enough. Okay, so here's how, here's how the, uh, so that's what the front camera holder looks like on the red shifters frames. And when I first saw that, I was like, what the f fuck am I going to do with that? Well, here's what you're going to do with, with that. Um, the, the center part stretches just barely enough to go around the camera lens. So you do that first. All right. So you do that first and then you pull the sides around. Now what I want to, what I want to check is to make sure, and you should all check this too. Make sure that you know where the, the wires should be on the camera because if I mount the camera like this but the wires are supposed to be on the side like that, the image is going to be sideways. <laughs> this is going to be 90 degrees. I'm pretty sure that this camera has the wires up on top, so I'm just going to hope for the best. No, I'm not going to do that because 
you got to stretch the sides of this thing around. So I'm I'm gonna check it real quick. Um, because I know better than to uh, than to think that anything is ever gonna go right on the first try. <laughs> Basically. Uh, all right. Let's get a little battery plugged in here. Um, actually, let's let me make sure that this uh, VTX is not touching anything that it shouldn't be touching on the AIO because, as we know, these fucking AI the last thing that we need to do is give these AIOs a reason to explode. Um, they do a great job of exploding all on their own. All right, what do we got? Uh, well, the camera's not working. That's not going well. Uh, I also didn't get startup beeps, which is not a great sign. Uh, the camera's broken. Uh, well... Whoop Wednesday is off to a great start. Um, well then, that's a big fuck you. Um... stab everyone. What the fuck, man? Come on. What? Why? What? Why? Why do you do this? Why does everything always do this? Yeah, I mean, the solder joints look fine. What the fuck, man? Come on. Oh, 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 I see. I see, 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 I see what's going on. Okay. Okay. I fucked up. Uh, it must have been when I was trying to put it in that thing, I pulled a little bit too hard, and the, um, I mean, I, I didn't think I was pulling at all, but, uh, uh, yeah, I very obviously did. So now we get to solder the, fuck, <laughs> buy a tiny hawk and get a, give up. If the Tiny Hawks were a little bit better, I would, <laughs> but um, they're just not quite there. They just don't have quite the right um, motor setup. They, they don't have the right motors. They don't have, and, and everything's proprietary on them. So like the, the, that proprietary AO that they use fails a lot. And yeah, Tiny Hawk is not the answer. If you're gonna fly a bunch of batteries through it at least. Um, Emacs stuff is great for just kind of getting people started. It's, it's an easy starting point, but um, their stuff has a tendency to not really uh, hold up all that well, and or just not have enough power for somebody that's looking to to really go for it. Oh my God! I can't believe this is my life right now. Uh, so, uh, 
this man, this fucking ele liquid electric tape that they use, like it just it's just so bad. I hate it so much. And it doesn't even do anything. Like like it it I guess it makes it waterproof, but no. Oh why? Why do the small things have to So this can suck my ass. I gotta be honest. It can. It can just go to hell. <laughs> oh my god! I I I really like I I I don't I don't know I don't know man why. Why you gotta do me like this, world? <laughs> Why does this have to be a thing? All right, first of all, I can't see shit. Uh, Tiago says the battery is okay. Uh, yeah. Battery's fine. The battery is fine. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Why me? Why me? All they had to do was not use this liquid electric tape and we would be like 18 steps past this by now. But instead, they slap this shit on like it's conformal coating, and it just, it's just so stubborn, man. It, it just, like, it never wants to let go, and it's got that, like, stretch to it. You're like, oh, I got it, and then it just stretches right back. Just so, yeah, I'm just scraping like, I can scrape like a hundredth of a millimeter of this shit off per minute. <laughs> and there's just no other way. Like there's just, you can't like, you can't put heat on it because it'll just like flow. Um, I don't know of a chemical that's gonna, it's, it's, it's not like sticky. It's, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Do any of you guys have a, a way of getting this bullshit off? Everybody seems to uh, to hate it, so I'm assuming that nobody does. Um, I might be okay here. Maybe. That might have been just enough. Oh my god, I can't. I, I have to at least try because nothing else is, is working. I'm actually going to try to... There's a big ball of solder... It's it's actually a through hole, but there's a big ball of solder in there right now. So, um, I don't know. I, just, I don't want to use solder wick because I don't want to pull the solder off the components that are around this pad. So let me just try to do it. I'll try to clear it out with the tip of the iron. Oh wow, that's not working at all. Uh, let's get some flux in there. Alcohol, says Rob Axelson. Really? What does it do? How does, how does alcohol help with the, uh, the liquid electric tape? I would never, I would never think that in a million years. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. I got in the hole. Yeah. Kristen beat you guys on that one. Oh, and I got a little bit of the, uh, I even got a little bit of the solder out. Isn't that nice? I need to use solder wick. This is not going to work without it. Um, so I'm just going to try to use the very edge of the solder wick. And I'm just going to be as careful as I possibly can be as I burn myself. And that worked a little bit. That did clear it out a little tiny bit. Uh, and that's all I really wanted to do. I, I just wanted to get it so that I could put the wire in the, it, just inside the little hole. I just want to put it in the hole. Just want to put it in the hole. Oh, T-Bird says you can burn it off with a lighter. I've tried that. It doesn't burn off, though. It stays there. Uh, Joan Pond says, Puck Electric Electric Tape. Uh, I use conformal spray because you can solder through it, and it waterproofs better than anything else. Torrential rain, and I got long-range drone at home. That's right. You were telling us about that the other day. Uh, Cowboy, kitten la Cowboy Laser Kitten Jet Shark also thinks that we can burn it. Uh, and then Rob Axison says, always cut the blue wire. <laughs> uh, drinking alcohol could work, Drone Pilot says. Um, what's the difference between denatured alcohol and fully natured alcohol, Rob Axelson? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of seriously asking too. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I've never. I've never looked up what denatured alcohol is, means, consists of. I don't know what what word. Oh man, this is going to be a. This is a really small pad. Uh, let me see where I can put this camera where it won't move. That seems pretty good there. And figure out how I need to orient my little tweezers here to hold this thing in the hole. Yes. Preparation H does feel good on the hole. All right, so we're in the hole. I can hold it somewhat stable like this. Got a little bit of bone support. Let's go for it. Go for it, go for it. Uh, Frank Reynolds, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm basically just kind of sneaking the soldering iron in the side. I got a blob of solder on there, and I'm just using that blob of solder as my uh, little friend to transfer heat to the pad. And the solder is also going to transfer a little bit. And that should be good. But I'm going to give it a good tug just to kind of make sure. That's what, oh yeah, oh yeah, we are back in business. Let's see if we can get it right this time. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Uh, before I put it back into this though, let's put a battery on it and see what happens. Goggles are on. Looking through them. Hey, look at that. And the wires are up on this camera. So we're good. Wires go up. We can try to not yank any more wires out when putting it into this uh, thingy. And I'm sure we'll be good this time. So I'm going to just push the whole thing down here and I'm just going to work flat against this surface so that I hopefully don't yank it. <clears throat> no yanking it, guys. No yanking it. 
abstinence is the only way. <laughs> Come on, you shitbird. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Come on, go. The rest of the way. Come on. There we go. All right. So now here's what you do. You got to pull the little flappy doodle sides uh, uh, over the sides of the camera. Uh, there isn't a chance in hell of you guys seeing me do this. So I'm going to do it and then I'm going to show it to you done and it'll make total sense. Once it's done, you'll look at it and go, oh, that's fucking clever. Because it is. It's, it's a very clever little, uh, little way of, of holding these cameras. Most of of what it, most of what Red Shifters is doing, kind of falls under that that same thing. Um, they've really found these very clever ways to incredibly light uh, to to hold these components in a way that's very very lightweight um, and like minimal. And that's uh, that's really good because when something is trying to fly. Lightweight is a good thing. Lightweight fixes everything is uh, one of my favorite sayings from uh, the Miata community. And it's true, man. Look at me. I'm lightweight. <laughs> oh! Come on. Get, get over there. Get up on here. Get up on there. Yeah. All right. The top is on. The top is a little bit harder on this side. <laughs> that is indeed what she said. Oh, my God. My fucking fingers. Uh, tiny whoops make me feel like a giant, and I don't like it. They, they make me feel like a big, dumb fucking, like... Just a big troll giant asshole with sausage dick beater fingers and meaty meat bag hands and faces. I don't like it. I don't like working on tiny whoops, but I gotta do it, man. I gotta do it. I have an opportunity. I gotta, uh, I gotta go for it. This is important. Come on, you piece of shit. Stretch. Stretch. You also, like, you can't get mad doing this, because the second that you, you get, like, actually angry doing this, you're just gonna rip it or smash it or oh my god get the fuck out of here come on man oh there we go yeah <laughs> let's see how many of those wires I yanked out this time none of them wow happy days are here again Shit. <laughs> okay, so now I need to um, drink a bucket of alcohol. But before I do that, I need to um, kind of like zip tie this little fella to the top plate. Are you watching uh, Life Aquatic? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I heard the, um, the Life Aquatic theme song out there. I was like, ooh. Uh, here's our antenna. Which doesn't work worth a shit. <laughs> this thing fails safe on the, on the back side of the goddamn couch up in here. Uh, poop. I am going to put a piece of VHB in between this VTX and the AIO board because I don't trust it. 
I, for, I haven't looked at the chat in a long time. Uh, Rob Oxenson says, so there's a Redshifters frame that you like now. Potentially, Rob. That's what we're uh, that's what we're testing. This is their V2 prototype 65, and it feels about a million times um, uh, stiffer. <laughs> Rob Axelson calling out Rachel Ray, and then Cement Kid. What is up, brother? All right, here we go. Here we go. VHB is going to save the day, maybe, maybe, and then we going to do a little zip tie in. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to leave the, the VTX zip tied to the... Um, you know what? No, I'm not. And you know what? I'm also not going to put this VHB on it because if this AIO doesn't like heat, the last thing that I'm going to do is put a piece of foam on top of it uh, where the heat wants to go. So yeah, I'm just going to slop this thing back together, I think, at this point. Uh, because that's what it needs. Why do you guys watch me? Why, why, why do you guys come when I say things like that? Are you okay? Is it Stockholm Syndrome? I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, it sort of must be. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense. Ah! Everything's so small. Oh my god, screw. Don't fuck with me. You won't like it. Uh, I'm also using the lighter weight canopy on this because I don't have any extras of the, uh, the heavier canopies. So that's fine. But th that um, if this isn't quite stiff enough, uh, that that's one more way to stiffen this frame up is to go to the heavier uh, four hole canopy holes matter don't uh, don't don't listen to uh, anybody that's a hole denier holes matter Come on, get out of the way. Wires. Fucking up my zen. There it is. Okay, so now we can put the front screw in and plug the motors in. And we'll be good. What are you guys talking about over there? What are you guys talking about in chat? Anything interesting? Yes, there we are. Okay. So now we got that in. Let me just make sure that these make totally sure that these wires are out of the way because I just I really don't want to pinch these uh, these wires in here. That should be all right. All right. Frame is back together. Look how cool that looks. Uh, let's just get this VTX zipped up to the top plate, and we'll plug the motors in and go. I changed my mind on the on the VTX thing. We are gonna we are gonna zip it up. It just doesn't make sense to not. Secure this fucking thing before we go flying it. Uh, okay, so it has to kind of sit at an angle because the wires up front are a little too short. Uh, yeah, the, the power wires going to the camera are like 
ever so slightly too short and it's very frustrating but it's better than having to try to scrape all the goddamn liquid electric tape off although it sounds like I just need to um, sounds like I just need to call up uh, Ric Flair and uh, get some uh, some alcohol from him Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Uh, come on, zip tie. Go above that wire. I don't want you to go below that wire. I want you above it. Kind of need you above that wire. Actually, I need to put it through this. Oh, this is going to be so much harder. Ugh! Alright, here we go. I'm going to try to get this zip tie up through this frame. Or, the, the canopy, rather. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is going to take the rest of my life. I'm literally going to spend the entire rest of my life trying to get this. Not figuratively, literally. Oh, look at that. Or I'm going to get it right away. You just got to have no hope, guys. That's the, that's the key. Have no hope, and uh, you'll be rewarded. So, this ain't going to look great, but I don't give a shit. Um, it's not about looks with me. Oh! God damn it. I got the antenna in there. I can't leave it in there. God damn you. P break, Rob Oxison says. Uh, okay, so I need to get this out of there so that I don't zip tie it in again. Like the king of the asses. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let's do it again. This is going to take, now that I did it once... This is going to take until the actual end of time to get in through this canopy. Damn it. I thought that would work. Ah, it did. It did work. It did work. Look at that. Okay. Zip tie. Be as zippy as you can. Uh, I have a feeling down the road I'm going to switch this uh, VTX out. But for right now, we're good. Oof, oof, that wire's getting a little pinched. Let me get that little friend out of there. Uh, come on, little buddy. Come on, little white smart audio. Oh, that's that really short. Yeah, that wire's not going anywhere, I don't think. Oh wait, no, there it goes. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, this VTX works a lot better at this like awkward ass 45 degree angle. It fits really good at this angle. Um, all right, I think that's as tight as I'm gonna, as I really want it. I don't think I wanna go any tighter on this zip tie, so. We gonna just leave it there. Uh, magnetize your screwdriver on a bell, says Ken Hill. Ken, I do. Uh, they are all magnetic. Every once in a while, I remember to, uh, to kind of put them back on there and freshen them up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, they are all 
just magnetic enough, basically. Okay, so let's see how much of a pain in the ass this is going to be now. I've got to fish these motor wires through like a really small little area here. And uh, it's kind of tight. Hey, uh, go vote. If you go vote and you take a picture of your uh, voter sticker and you tag me in it, I will send you one of my stickers so that you can put that with your voting sticker. And I mean, if you want, while, you know, since I'll be mailing you a sticker, you may as well go on Etsy and, and spend like a couple dollars and, and I'll send you two stickers or maybe three. <laughs> but I'm serious, dude. Um, if, if you guys go vote and on a social media platform, you tag me in a picture of uh, your voting thing, I'll send you one of my holographic small stickers, which fits really perfectly on your goggles. And then you'll be like 7,000 times cooler. How is that not a good deal? How are you guys not all leaving the chat to go vote right now? Hell's that about? <laughs> oh my god, I can't even get the first one. I can't even get the fucking first one through. <laughs> Dub Squared FPV just signed on, but did you see Newbie Drone put up some video on Facebook and Instagram of their new 75mm cockroach frame? Looks like it might be up your alley. <clears throat> I've been talking to them, so I don't, uh, so my, uh, my buddy Dave that used to be the, uh, CFO at newbie drone not to name drop or anything but hey also look at this uh oh i turned it off for the um oh shit i forgot to turn it off of the uh of the, um, i forgot to turn it off of the bench cam uh the gear, gear fund is up i am turning it back on there it is um if you want to know Next time you buy a micro motor, whether or not it's going to be a pile of shit or it's going to be good, I'm buying one of every micro motor. Um, I'm 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 I kind of want to do a stream specifically for this, and like the whole stream is talking motors and and we're looking at the ones that that. Um, that we've got so far and uh maybe put like a maybe put like a hundred dollar goal or something um and then at the end of the stream however high this gets um i go on to get fpv and buy as many motors as i can from it uh or not <laughs> Rob Axelson says I just scared his dog. <laughs> Sorry, Rob Axelson's dog. Good boy. You're a good boy. That was just Uncle Aaron. Ooh, good doggy. Ooh. After we have all the ones from Get FPV, we'll go to Pyrodrone for sure, Sam T. Um, doggy. Oh, wait, what else can I do? Um, Siri, turn off lights. Alexa, turn off lights. Uh, back to work. Back to work. Oh no, no! I wanted to see the uh, the the seventy five. Uh, yeah. Cockroach frame. Uh, yeah. So I don't have a uh, I don't have a, a a contact at Newbie Drone that I'm friends with right now so I just uh, I just messaged their I just messaged them on Instagram here actually uh, hoping that somebody over there might uh, recognize my name and they didn't <laughs> so yeah 
this is looking real good. So they're connecting up here. That is fantastic. Um, this is interesting. Look at that. Five standoffs. Uh, three holes. I like that. I like three holes. I like my women like I like my cockroach frames with three holes. <laughs> <laughs> you say a lot of ridiculous things. That's just, that's... That might be the worst thing I've ever said. <laughs> oh, you fuckers. Why do you make me say this shit, you scumbag bastards? It's your fault. <laughs> oh, man. If there's a hell, I'm going. I mean, there isn't, but... Uh, what else can I, uh, how, how else can I set the female gender back? <laughs> uh, it's got this center, uh, it's got this centerpiece, which makes me think that, um, hopefully they'll put the little hookers on it, you know, the little, uh, the little, uh, prostitutes on the side so that you can put, so that you can hang your Insta360 Go from the bottom. Uh, what the hell are, what's that? What are those things? <gasps> I know what those are. They told me I I I I explained the situation to them. Um, I even name dropped T Pain, like hoping that would give me some fucking. Um, yeah, didn't work. Uh, I did mention the Insta three sixty Go thing. And uh, they said that they're they're they got something cooking. I hope it's not an LED tab. Uh, what I hope is, and right now I'm looking for a 75 frame. That's a 75 frame. So if you look at, okay, so those slots, those slots are roughly even with the center line, right? Oh, I hope this is what it is. I hope to God this is what it is. Yep. That's what it is. That's a... That's gonna... They're gonna use that, I betcha, to mount the Insta360 Go right up front. Because it's the same exact width, right? See the width? See how the... No, of course you can't, because my fucking fingers are, are all over it. <laughs> <laughs> look, at the, uh, look at the center line of the motors in comparison with the width of the, uh, of the Insta360 Go. I bet you that's what it is. Um... So that it'll they'll probably be a uh, uh, a little piece of TPU that 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 piece on the frame is if my guess would be it's just uh, two holes it's just two mounting holes and then they'll probably have a TPU uh, wrap for the uh, for the Insta 360 Go to run it up there um, that's pretty cool uh, um, the only problem with that is going to be the center of gravity is going to be Fucked for life. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be real. That's gonna be really hard. Um, that's gonna be tough. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Vegas said ten to one odds. You're wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, uh, I hope uh, I hope they have an even better solution, to be honest with you, because having that having 18 grams that far forward is going to be rough. Um, <laughs> Rob Box is this bearded clams, uh, family friendly all the all the way. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Bill Grimes says, "Don't come to Baltimore." Why? What was I talking about? 
Uh, Yarb says, small and can take a beating. Terrible. Uh, Drone Pilot says, you need to say, hey Siri, pause a second, and then say, dial girlfriend. Uh, Rob Axison says, heading to in-laws this weekend, gonna dig up some fresh clams and have you on my mind. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, Dub Squared FPV says click on their icon. They have a video of it. They have a story of it, I'm guessing. Look at that. It's got some power. Oh, it's bouncing all around. Oh, fly it closer. Come on. Fly it closer, Mike Chen. Oh, wait. You guys can't see what I see. Sorry. <gasps> yes, he flew it closer. Oh, oh. Wait. Shit. Get closer again. Come on. Come on. We need to pause and zoom. He flew nice and close, though. We're going to go back and... Uh... Oh, something's going to happen. Ooh! Now we're fucking talking! Hell yeah! Smash that shit, guys! Yes! Yes! This is the testing that is needed. Newbie Drone's always good about doing durability. Ooh! 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 Ooh. Oh, fucker, they're on the back. Those little nubs are on the back. Damn it. Well, that doesn't... Whoa. Whoa, they've got a carbon fiber brace on the bottom. Look at that. Whoa. That's going to be a heavy frame, but um, I'm down for the weight, man. I, I will take a, a strong but a little bit heavy frame all day. <clears throat> Damn. Ah, oh, thank you. There's a pizza in the oven, guys. You only got me for 20 more minutes. Ooh! 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 Look at this! Oh, man. Why don't you just send me the fucking CAD drawing, why don't you? Alright, fuckers. Let's look. Um, I... I think it's quite the coincidence that those little nubble the, those little nubbly bastards are uh, almost exactly the width of the Insta360 Go. And like think of the size of the LED that you would have to put on the back to fill that thing up. That's that's kind of crazy. Um So I don't see those little hooks on the they they would be kind of here so they are kind of obscured by the carbon but um, what else can we see on here? Man, they really braced the shit out of it. I really like that they braced it like that. What is this? What is this black thing? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the antenna. That's the, uh, uh, the control link antenna. Flip it over. Yes! Ooh, we flipped it over! Yes! Oh, look at him! <sighs> They are. They're for the. They're for a fucking LED panel. God damn it. Uh, well, again, hopefully they have a better. Um, hopefully they have a, an Insta360 Go mount my in mind. Wow, that looks like a really slick frame, man. I'm. Uh, I am excited for that. Five standoffs in each duct. Hell yes. With a new uh, uh, Azzy forty millimeter propeller. I wonder what motors those are. Oh, actually, they're, they're, I'm sure that they're the 18 oh, or the 20,000 kV next because week. Oh, next week. they get the bigger props. Yeah, hopefully on the 20,000 kV 0802s, uh, those... Uh, yeah, that'll be a good setup. <laughs> eh... <laughs> 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 Many reasons I like newbie drone. Second round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to work, I guess. Uh, Athic says turn the frame. Cement Kid says two S won't be bad though. Hey, Squints is here. What's up, Adam? Uh, Bill Grimes says three holes questionable. Uh, Dub Squared FPV says, I think they're hooks for an immortal T antenna. Of course they are. But there's a close-up video on their Instagram, too. 
Uh, how about my ugly Cinehawk? <laughs> Anything says. Um, Fitzflight says, what f what's on the pizza? Uh, either plain or pepperoni. I don't know which one she put in. Mini Mortal T, Cement Kid says. Yeah, that's totally what it's for. That's totally what it's for. Uh, Drone Pilot says they're probably for an antenna mount. Uh, Laces of Drive says, are those nubs the same distance from the prop guard spokes on each side? Uh, yes, it, it looked like they were um, equidistant or whatever. Uh, Bill Grimes, I had that same thought too. He says, what about two 360 goes front and back? Um, it wouldn't be able to pick two of them up, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think. I don't know why I said the word so just now. I don't know why the word so poured out of my mouth a minute ago. Rob Axison says, what? No one's the 360 go mount. Vegas is calling uh, in its marker. <laughs> uh, Squint says, what's up? How you hanging? I'm good, man. And Lilithium is here as well. Uh, everybody go sub to uh, Lilithium's channel because if you bastards don't support women pilots as violently as I do, death. Lilithium, you're a mod. Drop a, uh, a link to your channel and uh, let me know. If, if you don't get at least 10 subs, uh, I'm going to go on a killing spree. Matthew Hinton says they're for a trailer hitch. All right. Uh, so, Matt Kid, uh, have the B2P treat to pregame with the... What? What's B2P? With the... With the goo I'm so confused. Um, and Lilithium says she got to fly with other people today. It was glorious. I, um, the, yeah, it's, isn't it a treat when you fly with other people? B2P stream. Cement kids. Oh, 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 um, uh, 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 between two props. Hey, look at me. I know acronyms. Um, yeah. Hey, collective, who has dealt with, uh, their RSSI not working in their OSD. You know how when you don't have the RSSI set up properly, it just sits there at 49? Um, Lilithium is having that issue, and I want to troubleshoot it with her, but uh, it's Whoop Wednesday, so we're not going to do it here tonight. So if any of you guys, uh, lovely collective bastards in the chat, um, uh, want to help her out to figure out what's going on with her RSSI, that would be super cool. Otherwise, uh, we're going to get it fixed on... Five inch Friday, maybe? Uh, back to work. Back to work. So we're not gonna do that other build it's not looking like tonight, but that's okay. Um, I, I first go through on builds, I think it's, it's maybe a good idea for me just to do off the stream. Um, because a lot of stuff goes wrong and, and it's, um, yeah, I feel bad making live streams that are like, hey, come watch me build this fucking thing, and then like five steps in, I don't have what I need, or the the AO explodes, or, uh, you know, my hair falls out. There's so many things that can happen. Where is the... Man, I ran these all wrong. I ran these motor wires so wrong... And I might actually have to take this fucking thing apart to get this one out. And if I do, I'm going to rage quit life. Get through there. Get through there, you little shit. Don't you dare not fit. And unto you, chat. Come on. No, 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 no. You, no. It, don't. Don't be that close but then not fit man don't do that to me that's not cool oh my god please 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 yes <laughs> that is a big victory but now it won't fit through here Wow, it's not even close to fitting through there. Uh, let's. My favorite initial approach is always mash, and that worked. So let's try it again. Let's mash it. 
she's just mashing it. <laughs> it's from It's Always Sunny. You guys remember the 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 uh, the Thanksgiving episode where they burn the apartment down on It's Sunny? It's from that. It's when uh, the snail is giving the uh, um, Charlie's landlord a hand job under the table, and somebody a somebody asks him about it, and he goes, "She's just mashing it." And, uh, you know, I'm a bad person, so I think that shit's hysterical. <laughs> that show can do no wrong for me, man. Every single, like, just... Every episode of every season just warms my heart. And it's like, th that show is even more special because I grew up uh, within an hour of Philadelphia with a father who had a an amazing South Philly accent um, took me a long time to uh, to not say wooder like w-o-o-d-e-r took me a long time to uh... and what, what's interesting is you can't you, you can't go the the complete opposite direction and say water all the time um, because it just sounds ridiculous you gotta find that that like middle ground where you hit the T but you still you, there's still some wood you're still you're still giving it some wood like my ex-wife <laughs> doesn't exist um, but yeah you, you gotta you gotta hit the wood but then you gotta hit the T a little bit too right why does anyone watch this How do you guys say water? Does anybody say water like a like a pleb? Any water people out there? No, nobody says water. You'd have to be an idiot to say water. Say water, 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 water. I don't know what you say. Say whatever the hell you want. Leave me out of it. All right. Two more plugs and then. Uh, you guys will get a reprieve, and I will end the stream, and you won't have to listen to the the rantings of a of an actual madman. Uh, so this camera angle, guys, yay or nay? Uh, I feel like you guys can't see shit with this camera angle. the The flip side is this is the most convenient camera angle for me. Uh, but that pretty much means nothing. I mean, the, the, the stream is for you guys. It's, it's not like me being comfortable means nothing. Just, you know, in life, but also in this stream. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I found a couple of uh, extenders that will allow me to... Uh, they're quarter by 20, they're quarter 20 extension rods, basically. And it'll allow me to move this camera this way so it looks more straight down. I think that'll give you guys a lot less like of my fingers to stare at. If that doesn't work though, I think I'm just gonna go back to having the camera here looking that way because that's one of the only camera setups I've ever had where I've been able to zoom in on like actual soldering work that I was doing and um, have you guys like see what the hell's going on. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end up going back to that. Unless for some reason you guys say right now, no, this is the best camera angle ever. If you change it, I'll hunt you down and eat you. So let me know. That's it. We're done. Uh, let's go no Insta360 Go first. Look at the profile on that, guys. Like, look at that, man. So clean. Dauntless says, I say coffee. Um, I don't know. I, I, 
I read it the way I read it. Rob Axison says, Tell your dad I said hello. I pulled some of my kites out of my beach bag. TC Ultra. Bard will help somebody with that exact issue. Rick Zapata says, Bard will help somebody with that exact issue with RSSI on Sunday. Had something to do with setting up the aux channel. It is the N property. Properly. Um... So if you don't know, when, when, you're, when your RSSI is stuck at 49, that is Betaflight telling you that it's, it's not getting any RSSI signal. Um, the most common mistake is in the receiver tab, the, uh, the little RSSI aux channel is not set. Uh, so whenever I have that issue, I always hope to hell that that's what's going on. Uh, sometimes it isn't though. There are some other things that can be causing it. So, um, yeah, it looks like you guys are helping uh, the lithium. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, my recommendation is going to be to try to figure that out first, or try to uh, check that first. I should say. Uh, okay. Wait, I need to zoom this out. How much uh, longer on that pizza timer? Lady, five, minutes. five more minutes. You guys have five more minutes of the lankiest son of a bitch you'll ever meet. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. We take off from a burrito around here. That's how it's done. Uh, for anybody, you know, I realized lately, a couple of you guys mentioned this thing. This is made by um, a really cool company called Photo Jojo. If you're a photography nerd, you already know about Photo Jojo, but um, this is called the Photo Rito, like burrito, um, and it's a, it's just a gigantic slap bracelet, um, and it's I I haven't I haven't found I've had this for like five years, and I've never found a use for it, um, like a good use for it. Uh, a couple times when we've been, and what it's for is um, just taking a lens and now your lens is, now you can just throw your lens in your, in a bag um, and it's, it's protected from scratches. Um, I didn't buy it for that reason. I bought it because it looked like a gigantic burrito. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I'm still looking for a... Uh, I still haven't found a good use for it. I still wasted my money on it <laughs> because it was like $20 because it's really nicely made. They, they make really nice stuff, um, Photo Jojo. It's expensive stuff, but it's nice, nice stuff. Um, uh, I should have a battery. Here we go. Uh, remember what I said about offsetting the battery? I'm about to do that. So instead of putting the battery centered like this, I'm just going to run it back like that to offset the weight of the, uh, the camera in the front and eventually the Insta360 Go in the front. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because this BT 2.0 cable is not long enough. Um, instead, I'm going to chop my dick off with a pair of shears, otherwise known as putting the battery in the normal position. Uh, that's very annoying. Yeah, there is not any extra cable. Uh, these 333 batteries are pretty long. So, I don't know. <laughs> Dauntless H says, bought it because it looked like a giant burrito. See how 2020. Uh, Rob Axelson, you know, I thought I could use it as a snoot, but it really does not work well as a snoot, mainly because it's red on the inside. So um, the, uh, the, all of the spill light coming out of it is very red, <laughs> very, like, pink. Uh, this is on the beta board. All right, well, this is, uh, this is kind of the moment. Cross your fingers. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, 
the motors aren't spinning the right direction. I put the motors back in the wrong spots. God damn it. Uh, are the propellers at least right, though? Oh, wait a second. Oh, everything is wrong. Okay. Got it. Everything is wrong. Uh, the, the propellers are also upside down because it wasn't, it was not a pusher frame before. Okay. Uh, over at CiatiFPD.com, there are a million affiliate links. One of those affiliate links goes to Amazon. On Amazon, you can get this thing. And you should. It is the 26810 Weha chip lifter. And this thing is great. Uh, this works incredibly well for removing C-clips from the bottoms of motors. And it's absolutely the most perfect thing in the land for removing tiny whoop props. Take your little thingy and you put the thingy in the thingy that's the beep of a pizza I got to do this fast but just just believe me it's um, it's it's what you want it's what you need to remove tiny whoop props without destroying them um, I have a hard time getting tiny whoop props off without bending the shit out of the out of the propellers and then once the propellers are bent, I mean, they're shot. Like, like you can bend them back, but they're, it, it, you can hear it. Um, it never sounds the same again. <laughs> for four, more four more minutes. Let's see more time. if I can get this done in four minutes. Come on, man. It's still, uh, yeah, it's still a struggle sometimes, but this makes it a lot less of a struggle. There we go. Sometimes, yeah, you got to go up on the top, but always, always push it from the bottom. Um, always push from the bottom. Wise words for everyone. Whop! And whop. That made a noise I didn't like. There was a, a click there that I didn't like. What was that? Click. Um, hopefully it was nothing. All right, so let's uh, see if the motors are spinning in the right direction first. They very well might not be. Uh, because I think I moved the black wires to where the red wires were. Fa, fa, fart! Fa, fart! Fart. Uh, License to drive search for chip lifter on eBay and got lots of cooking implements in the results. <laughs> what? That's that's a funny search term. Uh, use those numbers. Th those numbers. Or oh, no, uh, just search for Weha chip lifter uh, motors. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can feel the direction that they're spinning. I can't really feel it. I'll use my little solder trick. Uh, which way does it go? It goes, okay, so that one is props in. Oh God, they're all props in, aren't they? Motors one and two are spinning props in. Motor four is spinning props in. As is motor three. Uh, so fuck it, let's fly this thing props in. Might as well. Go over here to configuration, turn off, motor direction is reversed, save and reboot. Oh, you know, the other thing that could, uh, the, um, well, yeah, in the, in the receiver tab, right? So here's our RSSI on AUX4. 
you see how it's dancing around? Um, yeah, if, if there's no aux channel dancing around, then, um, yeah, it could be a physical wiring problem, like the, uh, oh man, yeah, if that's the case, there's a bunch of things it could be. Um, all right, I think I'm good. Props back on in the correct upside down orientation. And we be aight. So props in, huh? Jesus. Uh, I don't even remember how to do that. Uh, in. So that means like that. Oh, that's weird. Uh, who was it that was, is, uh, was it somebody that's in here that was saying that on a pusher, props in is the way to go? Um, was that one of you guys? I feel like, I feel like that was maybe somebody in here. I mean, unfortunately, we won't know now. We will, we will know at some point when I switch this to props out, uh, if, yeah, if there's any difference. Actually, we won't know because I won't be able to feel a difference and then that'll be that. Because that's, yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, well, the pizza just beeped. It needs to sit for two minutes. So you guys got me for two more minutes. Hopefully this thing works. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, and it's nice and quiet, guys. It is nice and quiet. That is what I've been waiting for from an R3D shifter's frame. Let's see if it hovers. Oh, it hovers! And it hovers nicely so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Finally. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, red shifters. You stuck with it. And you made the... 65 frame that is super stiff. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Look at that power. Look at all that power. Now that it's not all vibrating. Oh, yes. Wow! What a difference! Now for the real test, though. Um, this is the only thing that matters, is how well it can carry this Insta360 Go. Um, so this, uh, this flight controller was making noticeably a little bit less power uh, Right, these motors are the same, same props as the uh, as the newbie drone setup. Oh my God! Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, so Insta 360 is on the quad. It's not recording because I'm just curious about the weight. Uh, and we're gonna end the stream with this. So, thanks for hanging, everybody. Um, whoever's helping the lithium out, link up with her on um, Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Hopefully. Here we go! Yeah! All right, so. Ah. So that's a lot less power. Um, shit. Yeah, that's a lot less power than the uh, than the newbie drone rig makes. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I, I can't even keep flying it like that because it's just going to get real hot. Um, all right, well, I'll go in and do a little bit of tuning. Uh, let's do that real quick now. Let's just do that real quick. Like, I, I'm just going to back the tune off a little bit uh, because I went pretty nutty with this uh, when it was in the cockroach frame. Because you can, because the cockroach frames are somehow just like unicorn magic fart dust. Oh, let me, just give me an idea. 
if I land dead center, in theory, it'll burrito up. Private Island just made me think of that. Uh, pit tuning, and let's just go in here to filter. So oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some, some big filtering going on here. Let's back this off. Fuck it. Let's put it to 1-1. One one. That will, that will uh, be quite a bit of additional filtering. Dynamic notch, range. I do want this on low. Uh, with percentage. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then uh, I'm actually going to leave the PIDs alone. I'm going to back off the roll P gain but I'm gonna leave everything else alone. Mainly because if I can't fly this without the PIDs cranked up, um, it's not gonna be able to handle the weight of the uh, Insta360 Go worth a shit. All right, let's see. Th this battery is now towards being dead, um, but that's actually okay because I, I, I need it to be able to carry this fat ass camera for you know at least a minute and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to slam down down in the middle of that uh, burrito to see if we can get a little uh, a little surprise nah alright let's see Ah, so close. Here we go, and... Nope. Damn! <laughs> Here's what I was trying to do. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's not heavy enough. <laughs> All right, uh, more work is needed uh, for this rig. Um, I think I'm kind of suspect of this of this beta FPV um, all in one board. I feel like I should. I feel like in fairness. Oh, it was recording that whole time. That's funny. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, more work is needed, but very promising results so far. Uh, I, th so this had that same amount of power. So this now has the same amount of power in this red shifters frame as it did in the cockroach frame. Um, I was oh no it didn't no it didn't it had it had more in the in the cockroach frame because this is the this is the the chassis that I was flying at oh, I'm sorry this is the electronic setup that I was flying at Grayson Hobby uh, and it was doing a better job carrying it around I wonder if the weight of the 360 is doing something f funny more testing is needed. I'll do some of that offline, um, but I'm sure you guys will see this rig again soon enough. Uh, thanks for hanging, people. Ciati FPV has a million different ways that you can support me. Uh, I am trying to do this full time. It's not looking great. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm working as hard as I possibly can though to to try to make it happen. Um, depending on whether or not my unemployment insurance gets extended. Uh, I can hopefully try it for a little bit longer, uh, but I mean, the second that that the unemployment stops, uh, I'm I'm not making anywhere near enough money uh, to support myself. So I'll have to go back to the real boring, sad working world uh, in an office. But you never know. Uh, I'm gonna just keep doing this as long as I possibly can, and just kind of. Yeah, leave it all on the table. So uh, if you want to support me, CIDFPV.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging. You guys rule. I will catch you, what's today, Wednesday?
know. Maybe we'll do something tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a little random stream tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, Private Hunt says you're not even going to land the burrito for finale. Uh, Dauntless uh, 1S, uh, Rick Cepeda, Fly Project Mockingbird, Feel My Whoops, and the only and the only one they don't set props out is the Tiny Hawk because it's a pusher. Um, I can't possibly imagine this lack of power being because it's props in versus props out. Uh, but I don't know. I think what I'll do is uh, fly a few batteries on this, get it tuned without the Insta360 Go, just to kind of see how it is. And then I'll go back down the Insta360 Go path. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, big, big, big improvement. If, if I wasn't going to carry the Insta360 Go, this rig would be done. Um, it makes a good amount of power without that on there. So, uh, and no props in view and all the other benefits of the, uh, the Red Shifters build. So, awesome job, Red Shifters. This V2 65 is way better. Um, I have some more work to do to try to figure out how to make enough horsepower with it to pick up an 18 gram camera. Um, I'm, I'm putting these, I mean, this is like the hardest thing that you can do to these, you know, it's the smallest tiny whoop, the smallest propellers, and we're asking it to, uh, to pick up something that's pretty heavy, so pretty impressive, it can do it all, but I need a little more power, uh, to do it comfortably, so thanks for hanging, you beautiful bastards, you, check out Philip DeFranco, uh, Dauntless H with the last quote newbie drone cockroach had insta 360 go centered so cheap is not an issue what do you mean all right i'm kind of stalling to give don oh uh hear me out i bet uh I bet you're maxing out the front motor. Oh, totally. Uh, CG is off with the, the Instago up front. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Oh. Oh, turned on. I didn't do it. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> uh, that is almost certainly the case. Yeah. So what's interesting about that is, in theory, once I start flying forward, that will be a little bit better? No, it'll be worse. Interesting. Gotta go! Pizza waiting! Love you guys. We'll uh, troubleshoot more in the future. Uh, good thinking, Dauntless. I think it was Dauntless, right? Yeah, good thinking, brother. Um... Oh man, I'm a weird guy. Thanks for hanging, guys. I'll talk to you uh, tomorrow or Friday or Sunday or uh, I can't. Don't list. Uh, I, I have it pushed back as far as I can. Um, I would need to uh, to put a new um, uh, battery lead on it. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Be good. Uh, I'm going to play Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, maybe I'll see you guys on there. Not right now, but uh, tonight. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>